It is Saturday, August 1st, 2020, and it's 8.54 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's time to read Isaiah chapter 1. But first, the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer. Please say it with me, and if you don't know the Lord's Prayer, repeat after me, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And Father, forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who are indebted to us. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I ask you, if you're listening to this, to memorize the Lord's Prayer. And I add a couple of lines on there. Because there's in the Old Testament version and New Testament version and and that, but it's all the same thing. Sins are trespasses, debts are sins or trespasses, and, and you know, all of those kinds of things. Forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. And find and I want to add this too. Dear Lord in heaven, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Help us to to cleanse ourselves of the things that are in our homes, that are wherever we are, whether we're we are in a home or we're in a vehicle, we're in a hotel room, or we're on the street, Father. And at the sound of the of my voice here, help us to rid ourselves of anything that has a foul spirit, an unclean spirit. This includes Frogs, yes, frogs. This includes pentagrams. This includes wizards and witches and, and anything to do with Halloween. Jack-o'-lanterns. Pyramids. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of demonic imagery out there. And in the world, they have, they have conditioned our minds to just overlook them, but it goes into our subliminal. So ask the Lord to show you what you have that has demonic imagery on it and get rid of it. Get it out of your house. You might think that, that a frog is innocent. No, it's not. Read about Pharaoh. The greatest lie that the devil ever told is that he doesn't exist. And the devil uses those images. Okay. Isaiah chapter 1. Now, this, this book has 66 chapters and my goal is to finish by tomorrow. So I'll be putting up a lot of videos in Jesus' name. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. 
The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken any more? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had, a, had, left, us, had, had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been, uh, been like unto Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams, and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks, or of lambs, or of he-goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the callings of assemblies, I cannot away with it. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed fe feast my soul hateth. They are trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with a sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Every one loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord, the, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. And I will turn my hand upon thee, and purely purge away thy dross, and take away all thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgments, and her converts with righteousness. And the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together, and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which which ye have desired, and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that have that ye have chosen. For ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth, and as a garden that hath no water. And the strong shall be as tow, and the marker of it as a spark. And they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them. Glory to God.